little bit of good news. Uh, well, good news, depending on what your view is of Edward Snowden. Is he a, is he a hero or is he a traitor? Well, look, you know that is I have... Is Edward Snowden a hero or a traitor, you know, you know that I... Well, you know that I have ambivalent well, views about Edward Snowden, my friend. Well, to those who uh, think Edward Snowden's a traitor and had a good laugh last week when... Uh, how many did he... Uh, how many people... How many countries did, did uh, Edward Snowden reach out to with asylum requests? Twenty. Yes. And pretty much, like, I think, like, 18 of them came back with no's already. And everyone's having a good laugh. Nobody wants this Edward Snowden character. Well, since, uh, since there was that rumor that uh, Edward Snowden was uh, hot-tailing it out of Russia on uh, uh, Evo Morales, the Bolivian president's uh, airplane, <laughs> and he was refused uh, entry into France... Uh, Over their Italy, airspace, to be clear. Into their airspace, Refused yes. entry to France. Spain, yes. Portugal. Yes. Um, and basically he was forced to land in Austria so they could make sure Snowden wasn't on the plane. Right. Um, turns out Latin American countries aren't really cool with one of their own being treated as if they were, you know, just a little, little uh, you know, rag, rag dolls to be thrown around and told what to do. Um, so basically, since that's happened... Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Bolivia have opened their doors to Edward Snowden, folks. Uh, both, uh, all three, Bolivia, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, have offered asylum to Edward Snowden. Uh, the Venezuelan president, Nicolas Maduro, uh, Maduro, Maduro. Maduro and uh, Nicaraguan's president, uh, Daniel Ortega, have made the, made the asylum offers on Friday, shortly after uh, these Latin American uh, leaders met to denounce these... Uh, these, this diversion of uh, the plane carrying Bolivian President Evo Morales. Um, Saturday, Venezuela's offer was given a warm reception by Russia. Uh, the invitation from the South American uh, countries came after Snowden had sent out the request to an additional six countries. I'm assuming... I think they kept those anonymous. They did keep those anonymous, but I'm going to assume that the ones that weren't on this list that have given him asylum are part of that list of six? Probably. I think Venezuela was on the original list. Yeah. And they were considering I it. So, and Boliv- yeah. I think Bolivia and Venezuela both Nicaragua were Nicaragua wasn't on I think Nicaragua wasn't, yeah. And, uh, no, Bolivia wasn't on the list. Oh, Bolivia wasn't. No. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, um, Venezuela was. So uh, while most of these countries, the original 20, have given technical reasons why the application is not valid, these Latin American countries have rallied together to offer asylum to Snowden. Um... Interestingly enough, the uh, uh, president of Venezuela, Maduro, has already received an extradition request from the U.S., and he's rejected it. So I have to say, good for these countries. I mean, it's... it's I think g- their most salient point that they're making, actually... Well, number one, what happened with Morales and his plane is an embarrassment. I mean, that, that just goes without saying. That's insane. But the other two things that are... In, the other thing that I think is interesting about this is that in almost all of these cases, and again, I, I think I've been pretty clear that I've, I've not approved of everything that Snowden leaked or everything he's done. That's just my view of him. And I also... It's, a, it's an ideology that I don't fully buy that absolutely everything needs to be completely declassified and, and open. I think there are distinctions. But what I really like is... And, it, and you will not see this in most media coverage. A lot of these people will point out the United States hosts people um, from, like, there's a terrorist on the ground here that struck, you know, in Venezuela. He has safe haven in the United States. There, uh, in Ecuador, when Ecuador was considering giving Snowden uh, a pass, you know, asylum, they, uh, you know, uh, Correa was like, give us back these two brothers who are bankers who helped, uh, you know, defraud the country, who are living in Miami. So... I just think that that's another interesting subtext that doesn't get covered a lot yeah. about you know who's getting a pass and why not and the double standards in terms of that and and I would the other thing I really recommend really last week Gawker did a piece where they translated the president of Argentina Christina Kirchner's Twitter feed and she live tweeted Morales's plane being grounded yes and that's really quite this, something this really angered yeah yeah the rage this, this, the, the yeah. Latin American countries I mean. These are, these are countries who would not probably offer Edward Snowden asylum because they don't want to ruin their relationship with, um, with America. But you had a, a calling of, of all these countries coming together. We had uh, the leaders of Argentina, Bolivia, Uruguay, uh, I think Peru, um, Ecuador, 
Uh, and then you also had representatives from uh, Brazil. I mean, P- the South American countries are outraged over this. No, it's it's, it's can you totally imagine, unacceptable. Can you imagine the war U.S. would have declared on whatever country did this if Barack Obama was ordered to land in a country and denied uh, entrance to their airspace? Could you imagine what would happen? No, it's it's unbelievable.